It's 2024 and we're about to go in a new year. So here's the goals I wanna achieve for my business in 2024. I'm also gonna be going over some mistakes I made with goal setting in the past. So stick around and I'm gonna go ahead and go over that in the end of the video. My goals for my business will be the most realistic and relatable of any video you find here on YouTube. I'm not some multi-millionaire trying to hit the billion dollar mark in 2024. And if you're looking for that video, you might as well click off now because that's absolutely not me. Real quick to add context, I own a small arcade and amusement machine business. We place a machine such as claw machines, key masters, and stackers in local businesses to help them increase their revenue and entertain their customer biz. And I know a lot of you guys watching are just like me. You have a full-time job and a side hustle or business on the side and it still makes up a fraction of your main yearly income. Well, in 2024, my main goal is to make enough in my business where it's either 50% or even a little more than my full-time job. This to me will legitimize my business and make it a full operational business. That being said, I'm not trying to quit my full-time job. I know a lot of people on YouTube always push, you gotta get out of the nine to five or quit your job now and start this business. There's absolutely nothing wrong with working 40 hours a week, majority of the time, making that stable income and providing another source of income on the side as well. So let me go ahead and give you guys my clear goal for 2024. And that's to add 40,000 more in profit that my business earns. But actually this goal isn't for 2024, it's actually for 2025. And the reason this is, is because I've noticed in the past with setting goals for my business, I've made my time horizons too short and it pushed things to be nearly impossible to accomplish. And this led to being unmotivated, thinking things wouldn't work out. And setting these goals on such short time horizons just made things too overwhelming and impossible to accomplish. And that's why I set my goal for 2025. My goal for 2024 is to work for a good 2025. And that actually makes me feel much less stressed on a daily basis because you're giving yourself so much more time to work with when accomplishing these goals. Because a lot of times in business, things come really slow. So you can't force things to happen on a certain time scale when they actually might take a lot longer than you're really expecting. And I'm sure there's a good chance I'll look back on this video and say, wow, I can't believe I set a goal for only one year in the future when I should have been setting goals for five to 10 years in the future. But that's all for a later video and for me to try later down the line. And this year's inspiration for me is a quote that goes like this. A person overestimates how much they can accomplish in a year, but underestimates how much they accomplish in five. Now I'm gonna go ahead and end on that note, guys. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and subscribe. We're trying to get to 500 subscribers. We're almost there. And good luck to you guys on any goal you have set in 2024. So have a good year, guys.